coronavirus lockdown measures around the world vary. One of the most stringent is in Mauritius. The East African island nation has a population of 1.2 million people. From the 20th of March, only essential services such as hospitals, pharmacies and banks have been allowed to open. In supermarkets, only one person per family is permitted to shop for 30 minutes and shopping time slots have been allocated according to surnames. It's also mandatory to wear a face mask and to bring ID while shopping. So have these tough measures been working? Well, I'm pleased to say that we're joined now by the Prime Minister of Mauritius. Pravin Jugna. Thank you so much for joining us, Prime Minister. Are Thank you, you for having Are you getting on top of the infections in Mauritius? Well, as you said, the lockdown has started uh, since the 20th of March uh, up till the 4th of May. Of course, depending on uh, the situation, how it evolves, and only essential services such as health services, police, banks, shops, and supermarkets have remained open. Uh, we have also the staggered shopping days by alphabetical order with social distancing to avoid overcrowding and hence preventing the spread of the virus. Schools have been closed, but there is online teaching that is taking place. But in spite of the COVID-19, we are carrying on with the other public health activities. For instance, we are undertaking a nationwide flu vaccination campaign for the elderly and the disabled, which targets uh, some 150,000 persons. Now, there are uh, been a few violations, unfortunately, of the curfew, but most of the people have understood the need to abide by all government directives. And in fact, we are right now preparing a COVID-19 bill, which I hope will pave the way for the reopening, which hopefully uh, will be uh, on the for, uh, or around the 4th of May, of course, depending on how the situation evolves. And on the situation, the medical infection situation, <coughs> as I understand it, you have 324 confirmed cases in Mauritius and nine deaths. Is that still correct? Yes, uh, so far, uh, 324 confirmed cases, out of which there are 204 active uh, cases. Uh, no new cases have been registered for the past five days and all patients are in a stable condition except for two uh, who are in the uh, ICU. Uh, the total number of tests that have been carried out is uh, so far 9,180 and we have, uh, uh, as I said, recorded uh, so far a total nine deaths and 108 successfully treated cases. And so, uh, if I, sorry to interrupt, but we're, we're, we're short of time here. The, um, so obviously, given that you seem to be on, on top of it in terms of the spread of the infection, you're hoping, hoping to raise restrictions. Like other countries who are raising restrictions right now, I suppose you must consider what form of social distancing, what form of face coverings that you're going to impose when you do raise your lockdown. Have you thought about that? Uh, as I say, uh, it will depend on how the situation evolves, first of all. But if uh, things uh, uh, improved uh, uh, a lot, of course, we are already working on how we are going to uh, lift the sanitary curfew. And we have to lift it in a staggered manner. Uh, so we, we are looking at uh, uh, basically, uh, for example, the economic sector. Uh, how people will start to go back to work. Uh, not everybody will go back at the same time, but uh, uh, we will do so in a, in a phased manner. And we will, of course, uh, take all the necessary precautions like uh, social distancing, wearing of uh, masks, uh, and also advising uh, the population, all those who are going to be, uh, again, uh, back, to, back to work, on uh, a number of uh, 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 precautions that have to be taken. Prime Minister, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we wish all the citizens of Mauritius all the very best in combating this pandemic. Thank you.